So you've seen us set up, rehearse and light our scene before we shot it. Now that we've actually captured all that movie magic in camera, we can move on to uh, editing and color grading. Now I'm going to do all the editing in DaVinci Resolve, but you guys can do the same thing in pretty much any other video editing software. Uh, I'm going to first obviously choose my best take, uh, which is this one, I believe. And I'm just going to choose the end point. And I'm going to scroll to the, the part where she, uh, basically where we're going to cut to the, the little cutaway shot. I can be myself. Now for the cutaway here, we're going to take this shot and just pick the, the part where she kind of whispers in the guy's ear. You know I love you, right? So right there, that part is, is nice. So I'm just going to put it in there. Now for the second ver uh, part of this basically long shot that we had, um, I'm actually going to pick another version, another, another take that I did where uh, I just ended up putting more blood on her face. Uh, and so I just think visually it just looks better. So I'm going to use the second portion basically from this take. And that's pretty much it as far as editing goes. Again, that's the beauty of shooting almost of it in one long take. This, this way you don't really have much to edit. I can be myself. You know I love you, right? <laughs> Listen to me. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, there we have it. Uh, basically, our film actually itself is just under two minutes. Um, so I'm happy here with the editing. Now I can actually start to do the, the color grading. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, to color grade this is to actually convert this log uh, image into proper color space because this was shot on the Packet 4K in the Blackmagic film profile. That's why you can see here on the waveform, everything's kind of just in one area and it you know, looks like a flat kind of a image, doesn't have much contrast. So uh, I'm going to here apply one of the standard Blackmagic Packet 4K to uh, extended video uh, LUTs here. So depends on which camera you shot it on, you got obviously got probably the, the, the correct LUT for your camera. Now the next thing I want to do is to add a bit of st uh, basically stylization to this uh, whole film. And again, it's because, you know, one of the reasons why I shot it on the anamorphic lenses is because it kind of gives you this sort of a surreal look. Uh, and I want to do the same thing with the colors. I want it to feel a little bit surreal and, and a little bit more stylized. It doesn't feel, you know, uh, like, a, like a very realistic looking image. Uh, so I'm just going to go here in the, in the color wheels uh, and I'm going to add a little bit of color grading there. First, I'm going to uh, create another node. Uh, if you're using another program like Premiere or Final Cut, you're going to be doing this obviously in a different way because DaVinci Resolve uses nodes to apply different effects. So here on our second node, I can start playing around in the lift, gamma and gain. That's for the, the shadows, midtones and highlights, so you can adjust the color. So uh, I'm going to try to basically pull the, the lift here down to a little bit like into the bluish colors. And here at the same time, I'm going to pull the, ga the gain up kind of a bit and the gamma also to kind of counter it into kind of those red orange kind of colors somewhere there let me actually adjust the gain a bit more towards the blues too so somewhere there I really like the kind of stylized look that I gave it so again this is you know before this kind of a touch up in the, in the lift gamma gain and this is afterwards so it kind of gives you a bit of the stylized look the only problem is that it's uh, you'll notice that basically that blue that I kind of put here on the lift it starts showing up in the really dark areas of the image and I want that obviously to just be pure black right so uh, I'm gonna add quickly another node and in this node now I'm gonna go here to my curves and I'm gonna go to um, uh, to one of the curves here that I really like using uh, which is Luma versus saturation and basically what I'm going to tell Da Vinci to is, is I'm going to create one keyframe somewhere here and then here where it goes all the way to basically the darkest you know, parts of the Luma I want to drag, drag it down which means I'm going to decrease the saturation or basically take out the color from that area. So you see as I drag it down it kind of turns those black areas back into actual black versus before you see it just looks kind of bluish there. So I do that. It doesn't have to be all the way to zero but somewhere there. Again, if I turn off this node, this is how it looks. So the, the dark areas look very washed out with the blue color. And this just kind of brings back again the right kind of, you know, the proper black levels there. Um, and that's kind of how the shot looks. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to copy now, obviously, that color grade to this shot. 
uh, because this shot uses the exact same, it's basically the same lighting and everything, so I wanted to have the same look. Now let me see actually if I can copy that same color grade to this shot here. This is how it looks, so I actually like it, but you know what, one thing I want to do with this shot is, uh, in particular, is I want to make it like very, very bright. I want it to be exact, exact opposite basically of uh, this shot here, you know, our our long take. So I'm going to take our middle grade to here, or the, the middle uh, node that we have our uh, here lift gamma gain adjustments, and I'm just going to now adjust the, the luma on this. So I'm going to drag for sure the gain all the way up, and you can kind of see what's happening here on the waveform. So I, I might want to even crush some of those areas there in the in the warmer tones. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Now, one thing I want to do though is also I want to kind of create the sort of a little bit like this not really blur effect, but kind of a dreamy here effect. So I'm going to again create another note, and in this note, uh, I'm basically going to here go to our in the midtone detail, and I'm just going to basically drag this down. So to take away the details from the midtones, that really kind of washes away. Uh, it doesn't really. It, essentially, what it does is it reduces contrast in just in the midtones. So you see the darker areas, like the eyelash and here, st still have that same contrast, but it just everything else seems like it's almost like it's blurred. Now, obviously, I don't want this to be applied to this whole image, so I'm going to create a quick window here and I'm gonna drag it somewhere here and soften it, and I'm just going to reverse it. somewhere there so that now as you can see this was before that last touch and now you see it kind of looks like it softens the edges uh, but here there's still contrast in the in the middle of the frame now another thing i want to do right now is quickly check how our transition works uh, from our you know darker shot to our very bright flashback uh, with the color grade applied so i'm just going to play it right now And yeah, it's like I like you see how that flare comes in, that horizontal flare when we flash the light onto the the lens. Kind of helps, you know, kind of join this shot with that. But I feel like we can even enhance that even further by actually doing a quick sort of adjustment, like brightening up that that shot. So uh, I'm gonna here just quickly just make a quick cut here, like a second or two before. And I'm gonna now take just this section of the shot, be right before the, our cutaway, and I'm gonna do a quick color grade. So I'm gonna create another node here. And in this node, basically what I wanna do is I wanna just, you know, really lift up the gain here, make it very, very bright, uh, and the gamma too, so. And as you can see, that really makes that shot look really, really bright. Uh, and then uh, I wanna animate this, so I'm gonna go here, and I'm going to adjust the, right before we cut, basically, I'm going to adjust here, I'll put a keyframe. And I'm going to uh, actually animate here the gain here. And then here, with the lens for first comes in, that's where I want to basically turn this off. So I can just put zero here in our key. What's that eventually, essentially going to do is now, as you can see, it gets brighter and brighter, our color grade. Uh, and then we basically cut to that shot here. So it just makes it a bit more, more of a seamless transition. And I'm going to do the same thing now, uh, this, this first section when we come out of the quick cutaway. So again... Is that with you? I can be myself. You know I love you, right? Listen to me. Now, really, the last thing to do up here is, uh, is maybe add some music, uh, and you know, to kind of again enhance the, the kind of the, just the feel of this short film. And I think this is the one that I like the most. So let's just preview it. So yeah, I like this kind of very subtle, these you know, little keys. Uh, and now I, what I don't like is in the middle of this, the, this track gets really loud. But I do like those quiet moments and then I also like the ending here. So what I end up doing is, like I said, I took the little intro here of that song. 
the quiet part and I kind of have it come in as on, uh, I think, her third line. Because you always tell me that I act like a little girl. And I'm so sorry about that. I hope you know how much I appreciate that you're with me. And then essentially here, right before we go to our cutaway, that's when you know I play a little bit of the part where it gets a bit louder there on the track. And then I very quickly start fading it away. And then I just play the track all over again from the beginning. So I kind of loop it. I can be myself. You know I love you, right? Listen to me. So I repeat it. Uh, just keep on repeating the, the track here uh, until here to the end where uh, here this moment where she shows the gun that's one again when there's this little moment here in the middle where the track gets a little bit kind of sounds a bit more i would say almost like that scary i have a surprise for you you're gonna be a father we can be a family now and then right here at the end, uh, where we hear this, you know, is it the last kind of a click here in the piano, the music. Uh, that's when I also just cut from the shot and then we go into the uh, scrolling credits. We can be a family now. And that's it. That's our film right there. So as you guys can see, it does not always have to be very complicated when it comes to doing the, uh, the editing or color grading for these films. Anyways, that's it for our anamorphic filmmaking tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and learned something. Bye. <laughs>